All right, everyone, welcome back to Subnautica. We're back, baby. I'm excited to play this game. Uh, last time, we did a bunch of stuff. We got a scanner, we got a flashlight, a knife. This episode, we also have some goals. We are going to make the sea glide. We are also going to make... I think the first thing we're going to make is the mineral detector because the mineral detector will help me find the stuff I need for everything else. So, first thing I want to do is make a mineral detector. Now, where is that so that I can set the blueprint for it? Ah, right here. So, for that I need a battery and I need copper wire. I already have the silicone rubber and the titanium, so we need one more copper and I need to get more ribbon plants. We actually have ribbon plants in here, so I don't actually need that. I can make the battery. All we need is one copper. Do I have any copper here? No. Eventually, we'll have, and then I want to start our base. That's the other mission for today. Eventually, when we have our base, we'll be able to have things more organized and grab stuff a lot more easily. And grab you, ladder for Oh, you little... Oh, God. It's a lot harder to grab stuff like that on uh, controller, just for the record, than on PC. Because it's... What? Hello? Gotcha. Alright. Um... I need some outcrops so that I can... Sn what? I can stand, scan something here? Oh. I'm gonna scan everything I can, so... Might as well scan it. Alright. I also saw... Um... Where was that? I saw some quartz over here somewhere. I lost the quartz that I was looking at. That's okay. Uh, Coral Bridge. We'll scan you also. Um, we need outcrops. Outcrops. Aha! Give me copper. Titanium. Oxygen. Titanium is good too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <clears throat> the sea glide's gonna help us because we can fly around a lot more quickly. The mineral detectors just to help us find stuff and not have to scavenge around like this. Um, to find stuff. Oh, there's another outcrop right here. Titanium again. We're gonna need plenty of titanium, so I'm never gonna be mad at getting titanium, at least not early on. Because we will definitely need a crap ton of titanium f to make our base and stuff. Uh, most of those parts and things are made out of titanium. If it's the same, I don't know. They could have changed the way the bases are in this game. Lead. But in the other game, whenever you were building a base, you needed a crap ton of titanium. I got more titanium right there. Um. Oh, there's those freaking sea monkeys up there. Is this, this is the fragment. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. That's okay. Oh, I'm going to get titanium out of that. I'll take it. Quartz. We can't fill up the inventory because we do need copper. Let me go up to the surface. I'm a little bit deep. Seek fluid intake. Oh, I have water. That's okay. I'll do it when I get to the surface. I also don't want to stray too far away from Larry. Oxygen. Again, I call him Larry because Larry the life pod. I like alliteration. Vital signs stabilizing. All right, let me go back down. I need to find copper. Why is copper being annoying right now? There's a bunch of cro outcrops right here. There you go. Wait, was that copper? It was. Cool. Let's get all these. See what these are. Titanium. Another copper. You go away. Another copper. All right. Let's head over to Larry. We should be able to make the mineral uh, detector. And if we find more ribbon plants, that's, I think, all we need to make the sea glide, which is huge. But now that we have the mineral detector, I can just look for where that is and get it. Is this titanium? I will take it. Dude, dude I love this game, dude. Just the peacefulness of being in the ocean. The ocean is freaking terrifying, but it's just peaceful. There's something peaceful about it as well. All right. All right. So what do we need? We need a copper wire. We can actually make the sea... Oh, no, 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 I... I accidentally made the copper wire. I accidentally clicked copper wire twice, so now we have another copper wire. We needed it anyway, but now I need to go find the copper. Okay, that's fine. We needed it anyway, but, like, come on. We still have a good amount of space. I'm going to drop the lead and the quartz in there. Uh, I can't make the battery now. I need to find another copper, and if we can find more ribbon plant, I can make the both of them when we come back. So I guess that's a positive. It's just, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to make the, the mineral detector, because I would have helped us find other stuff. 
Titanium. There's something scannable there. I saw it when I was. Is it this? It is red wart. Titanium. Titanium again. Come on. I can't believe I did that. Ay. Fat fingered. Alright. What? Wait. Give me that. There was a copper right there. Ooh, another copper. Nice. Give me the quartz and let's head back to Larry. Can I make it there or do I have to go up for air? Oxygen. I have to go for air. That's okay. Alright, now we can make both. Now we can make the mineral detector and the sea glide. And another thing I want to make is the repair tool, but now that we have the mineral detector, that should be really, really easy. Alright. Um, so we need a battery. Oh, I need I can't make both yet right now. I have to make um I have to find ribbon plant. Um, make the mineral detector. The mineral detector can sniff out raw materials, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. That's the idea. I have a few bladder fish. I'm just going to make them into water. Because I have nutrient blocks and stuff, and getting fish for food is not difficult. Um, let's move this guy into a quick slot. Um, alright, so what we need now is ribbon plant. Now, I don't know if this will count. Ooh, so right now it's looking for that outcrop. How do I change it, though? Oh. Oh, wait. Salt, outcrop, fragment, copper, limestone chunk, quartz, killing outcrop, lead, stadium, crystalline sulfur. Crystalline sulfur is what we need for the repair tool, I'm pretty sure. Alright, well, I'm not going to use that right now because we don't need any of that stuff. We need to find, um ribbon plants so let's see if we can find some ribbon plants and then once we make the sea glide we can go around looking for uh the stuff for the repair tool which we need the crystalline sulfur for but now we have a way to find the crystalline sulfur which is pretty dope um where can i find ribbon plant i found them over here in like these ca this little cavey cavey area it's not really caves it's like little tunnels and stuff last time um i'm assuming they'll regrow from the ones i take and they don't just disappear forever but i don't know we also really need to get a better oxygen tank it's 75 it's just not enough or a vehicle that i can go around in instead of being having to swim around eventually we hopefully we'll get one in, so, in the first subnautica we got the sea moth we could fly around in that um to look for stuff and it made it way easier give me that like river plants usually were around here there aren't any right now there. I need to go up for air. These fins help a lot because we can swim way faster. Alright, let's drop back down. See if we can find some more ribbon plants. I'll take that titanium. I'm also taking a bunch of um, quartz because that's how you make the solar panels. I know that much because of the first Subnautica. Um, and we're definitely going to need that for power for our base when we start making it. So, And the more solar panels, we, solar panels we can get, the more power we can have and more stuff we can put inside our base. So, Where are these freaking ribbon plants, dude? All I need is a ribbon plants. That's all I need. Give me that. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, I'm going up. Okay. Beautiful. Let's go down. I need a ribbon plants. Are there ribbon plants here? Please let there be ribbon plants here. That's a red wart. I am... Replenish oxygen. Oh, that's cool. It's an oxygen plant. I'm not going down there, though. I have no interest in figuring out what the heck's down there. I'm going to go up now. 
I need ribbon plants, and I know those are up here somewhere on the surface, so I'm not really interested in going down unless there's ribbon plants down there. But I don't see any, so I don't plan on going down there. Can I not be stuck on stuff? Cool. Get the copper. Thank you. I just need some ribbon plants, please. Ah, uh, nope. Is that ruby? What, what is this? Oh, it's table coral. Which you get like this. I remember from the first game. I'm not going down there, though. That's for damn sure. Is my inventory full? Oh, no. Um, let's drink another thing of water. Okay. I'm gonna head up. Because we need to get some oxygen. I'm gonna start having to... I have a bunch of titanium, which is good, because I also am gonna have to start making some lockers. Some floating lockers. So we have a base, so I can put stuff in there. And not, um, have a full-ass inventory. We're not actually that far away from him. Ooh, lightning storm. Okay. Where the heck are these ribbon plants, man? It's all I need. It's all I need. Two ribbon plants, and we can make the sea glide, and we're chilling. Because I already have the things to make the, um... Oh, let me unpin... That's really annoying, actually. Let me unpin this, because I don't need that anymore. Aha! I'm glad I checked on here. Hold on. Oh, wrong thing. We found the freaking rib ribbon plants. Let's go. Oh no, I need to drink. I need to do something else to open up inventory space. Eat a nutrient block. All right. Larry, we're coming, brother. We can make a sea glide now. I just need to make a battery. Use the um. The creep vine. I think it's the sea clusters to make the uh, lubricant. All right. Um, so let me make the battery. Beautiful. Now, let me go in here, and I believe I'm going to have to empty out a crap ton of inventory space for this, but that's okay. We can. Um, the table coral in there, and the egg. Um, let's put the copper wire in there, too. Oh, no, we need it. We need it. We need it to make it. What am I doing? Give me that. Um, I think this is what you use to make lubricant. It is. Boom. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop me. Uh, whatever. We made more lubricant than we needed. That's okay. We'll just store it. No big deal. Um, and now, we can make a sea glide, baby. Let's go, dude. The sea glide is a personal transportation device. Oh yeah, I'm aware of what a sea glide is. Alright. Wait, I can make something else? Oh, I can make a floating air pump and pipe. No, I'm good. Because I have the titanium for it, but I'm okay. I'm gonna empty some of this titanium out. Because I have a crap ton of it in my inventory. Okay. So we've done already part of our mission. I'm, I'm gonna keep the battery... Let me... Okay. Get rid of these. Oh, crap. My bad. Oh, there we go. One way. Um, so we made the sea glide, which was huge. I really wanted to do that. That's super important. Because, as you'll see in a second, we'll be able to fly around now. Much faster than we were swimming. We are going to have to keep replenishing the battery on it every once in a while. So I am going to keep the battery blueprint pinned just so I remember what I need for it. I know I need ribbon plant, obviously, so that's the big one. Um, let me unpin the actual sea glide itself, though. Um, and the battery. Oh, wait, the battery is what I need the ribbon plant for, right? Yeah. Let me, um... Not the battery, the, the copper wire. There we go. Okay, so now that we did that... Um, our next thing. I want to make a compass also. Oh, I already have the copper wire. Okay, what do I need for a wiring kit? Silver. I haven't seen silver at all. I do have the copper. I think I just put the copper in here, right? I do. And I have... Wait, do I have an extra copper wire? No, but I have the copper to make one. Alright, let's make a compass. Ooh, it's nighttime. That's... Oh, I gotta assign my, uh... 
My sea glide to us. Yep. All right. We. I think we need one of these guys for silver. Or maybe one of these. Oh, I wanted to make the. I just remembered what I, what I wanted to make. I wanted to make. I, I need this because I want to make a um, repair tool. That's the other thing I want to make. Can we go into the surface? I'm going to pin the repair tool because I remember that was here. There it is. I need crystalline sulfur for this. So I need to find crystalline sulfur. We have the um, we have the mineral detector. So hopefully that'll help us find it. I know that there's the little dudes that like hide and then they come out and chase you and explode and then you go back to where they ran out of, and you can grab um crystalline sulfur out of it. So we need to find those guys. <gasps> Give me that. I need ribbon plants. Uh, every time I see ribbon plants, I'm just gonna grab because we need those. Yep. 100%. Nothing else in here? Okay. We have plenty of titanium, which we need. Warning. Uh, 30 yeah. seconds of oxygen remaining. That's so annoying. Give me the copper. Copper is like important because we kind of need copper for everything. Oh, you stay away from me. And it gave us stuff. <gasps> There's just silver sitting here. Oh my god, we can make the. What was it that I was gonna make with the silver ore? Wait, I can scan something here. An ore vein. Oh, hell yeah! Give me all this silver, dude. I was gonna make something with silver. What was it? Because I needed a wiring kit for it. And I was like, oh, the compass. That's what I was gonna make, the compass. Okay, we can make the compass now, anyway. We got a crap ton of silver right there from that vein. We still need crystalline sulfur. Titanium. It's gonna be important when we start base building, but like at the same time, I haven't even gotten a habitat. Oh, I got the wrong thing out. I haven't even gotten the habitat uh, builder or anything like that, like s blueprint or anything. Okay, my inventory is full, which is bad because that means if I find crystalline sulfur, I'm gonna have to drop something for it. But look, if I find it, I will gladly drop anything for it. So that was my flare that I accidentally dropped earlier. It's actually really funny that that's still there. Oh, I gotta grab these. Hold on. I gotta drop something. Let's drop some titanium because titanium is really easy to get. Ribbon plants, as you saw earlier, were a little bit more difficult, so I definitely gotta snatch those up as quickly as I can. If I see them, because that's how we replace our batteries on everything that uses battery, including the mineral detector that I'm currently using to try to find crystalline sulfur. Okay. You may be in purpose to look into things that I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might be some, some, some still some information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. So you, sh I should see it from the surface. Then is what you're saying. There should be a big radio tower that I can see that I should go at, go to. Is that where where I'm being told here? I knew, I remember reading something about that. Can I get on the ice? Can I, can I get up onto the ice? Is there a way to get up onto this ice? No. 
I'm kind of afraid that we're going to have to venture out <laughs> into the deeper part of this ocean, and I don't want to do that, but I might have to here. It's hard to see anything here, though. You know? Like, the, all this, like, stuff in the way, you can't really see anything. I'm trying to see if I can spot... Like, that radio tower thing that the... The message was talking about, you know? There was a hailstorm coming down right now, which is no good. Can I get up there? Wait. I think I could have. There was like a thing for me to, to like grab the ledge or something. Oh, I can pick up snow? What is the purpose of picking up snow? Just to throw it at stuff? Oh. Can I pick it back up? I guess I can't. Oh, that's too thick for me to climb up onto. Unknown. Oh, we're getting something. That's Morse code, but I have no idea. Is that SOS? That sounds like a distress. Yeah, it's SOS and Morse code. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. 200 meters? I can't go 200 meters deep. I don't have the oxygen for that. Did you give me an actual location, though? Or did you just tell me that and not give me an actual location? 200 meters. Cool. That's, that's dope. But I don't actually have a location for that. It's just 200 meters. is just 200 meters. But, like, where? This whole ocean can be 200 meters for all I know. Can I go up on that ice? It's so hard to see anything. This is deep ocean. This is terrifying. This is actually terrifying. Where am I? I don't even know where I am. I'm trying to, it says you can't miss the, the tower or whatever. I don't see a tower, man. I see mountains in the distance over there. I see the moon. I see that planet. You know what I mean? I don't see a giant radio tower that's impossible to miss. And now it's about to be nighttime, which is even absolutely worse. Cause I don't know. Did I just see something right there? Because I don't know where I am. Whoa, that's pretty. Can, I, can you get the frick up here, Robin? Holy. Okay, just get on this one. Just get on this one. Robin. Oh, God. Getting out of the water onto ice is so clunky. Okay. Was the radio tower the other way? I, I am not comfortable at all trying to venture out this way. There's, I mean, I don't even see land or any, like, any iceberg that way or anything. There's just nothing over there. I am not about to do that with no ability, like, no vehicle, no nothing. Absolutely not. That is terror, especially at night. Hell no. Okay, let's head back to our boy Larry. We're not super far away from him. Don't creepy music me. Don't do that. Don't creepy music me. I think I see something in the distance. I see light, like a mountain out there or something. I was going to leave, but I can kind of see it in the distance. My light scared me.
That's terrifying. I don't want to go out into that. You hear the wind picking up and everything? I don't want to do that. That's scary. That is scary, dude. No, no, no. Especially at night, bro. No way am I going out in there at night. No shot. No shot. All Terra beacon signature detected. Oh. Delta station dock. Oh, it's that way. Delta okay. Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. It is. That's exactly what it is. Okay, let's head over there. We're not super far away. We can do that. I'm going to stay on the surface. I'm not going to look below me or think about what's below me. I'm just going to go. Heck, the ocean and it, whatever is terrifying below, I am not even going to deal with it. We're not that far away. I'm just going to go right to where this thing is pointing at. I move on. I see peepers. What's up, boys? I don't want to know what other creatures are below me. I see it. I can kind of see it in the distance. I see the lights. Should we look below us? Whoa. This isn't that scary because it's not deep, but like... Those are like thermal vents. Over here. We made it. <gasps> we made it. Okay. Can I just come up right here? Holy... No, I'm going to leave that beacon because that's going to help me figure out where the heck this place is. Why would I pick it up? That's my that's my way of knowing where how to get here. Water, beautiful. I was a little worried about our food and water when we came here, but I mean, I'm pretty sure this is just for like cosmetics, but whatever, dude. I don't care. What are you? I think you're just part of it. Oh, look, a trash can. It's they have they have me in the game, guys. <laughs> a bench. Yep. This is all for base building. Hopefully, this is where we can get our habitat builder because we can. That way, we can start making our base. All right, let's keep exploring up. I guess, right? Wait, can I scan these? Oh, light stick. Oh, it's a light stick fragment. So I need to get another one, right? I guess I only needed one. Never mind. Oh, PDA. It's another sea truck dog. That's the vehicle in this game. A sea truck. I am freezing. Apparently. Okay, let's see if we can... F oh, we're not going to be able to find anything. <gasps> Those are rubies? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to go in here because the water is actually warmer. And it will warm me up. I need to find a thermal vent. They're right around here, so I can just go up to a thermal vent and warm up a little bit. Okay, my temperature's good now. I can't load her around like that, like I was, because I don't know where I can actually warm up. Wait. Wait. Oh, I can edit the beacon name. I don't care. Oh, I don't want snow. Uh, I don't know what's good for me. So, I'm clearly not going to get the hell out of here. Because I don't know what's good for me. I desperately... Okay, I remember you guys. You guys warmed me up. So, I'm going to find you and let you warm me up real quick. Thank you. I am trying to find a habitat builder and more stuff in here so i i'm going oh can we plant <gasps> please tell me we found a planter that was the biggest saving grace in the other game when you needed food you could plant stuff in your base and just live off of that and you didn't have to worry about catching fish or anything like that oh but wait i could grab something else there wait there's something else i could grab there you saw that right right there oh the snow stop with the snow man i don't want to throw snowballs and oh, crap i don't care about that right now honeycomb fungus hello thank you there's more of these oh my inventory is full how much does oh my god oh my god this gives you so much and it heals you okay we'll take some more not necessarily to heal me, more to, uh... <gasps> There's more stuff here. Is that crystalline sulfur? Heck yeah, I knew it, dude. Mineral detector fragment. I already have the mineral detector. Are we warm here? I think we are. 
Okay, let's read these. Emmanuel special request. Emmanuel gave me this jailbroken scanner tool thing and said, I need more shower heads. This would lead to you to the necessary minerals. What? He also told me to keep, to keep it on the down low. I guess this is what Master Certificate in Applied Geology gets you these days. A job as a glorified construction worker. Ugh, I should have studied interstellar law like Dad said. I have to hand it to Emmanuel though. I don't know what he did to the scanner, but it does a great job at zeroing in on specific minerals. It's better than ho ho hoping and I, I stumble across the right outcroppings. That's true. Emmanuel. Fred, I'm not blaming you. But what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it, and it was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit there have been a lot of sea truck accidents. And they are rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you can really understand it from, my, from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. Damn. Our boy Fred is causing some uh, ruckus. Yeah, honeycomb fungus. These are the dudes we can plant, right? Hell yeah. And these guys, the horseshoe shrubs. Yep, can be harvested and planted. Hell yeah, dude. We just need to find that stuff, which hopefully, 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 we can find here. I can also make... Oh, but I don't have a freaking... I'm gonna have to go all the way back because I don't have a fabricator. I have the tools to make it, but not a fabricator with which to make the re the repair tool. So I'm gonna have to go back to Larry and come back here. Ugh, game. Why do you make me do this? We got the light stick blueprint. All these good stuff down here as well for the base. Wait, what am I missing? Oh. We got a thermos. Okay. And obviously the fruit and the crystalline sulfur. Which is also for the repair tool. Alright, what are you? Nothing it doesn't look like. Oh, there's another crystalline sulfur right there. I didn't even see it. Okay. I'm hoping... Wait, is this things? Oh, these are all crystalline sulfurs? Holy crap, I'm going to take all of these. I'm assuming that's going to burn me if I go in there. I'm going to scan the crystalline sulfur as well. I'm hoping here... Oh, my inventory is full. Crap. I'm hoping... I'll just eat one of these. I'm hoping... We find um, the habitat builder here because I should scan you thermal lily because the habitat builder is going to be really important for us. Um, I don't want to go down there. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Um, wait, what am I? Oh, I don't stop with the snow game. Once we have the habitat builder, uh, we can make planters and stuff. We can have our own f our food there. We don't have to worry about trying to find food anywhere or anything like. That. Holy crap! Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. That's a freaking prawn I'm suit. Not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. Hello. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your. She mind. sounds like Marguerite from the if last you're game. Lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait. Who are you? She sounds like Marguerite from the last game. The crazy lady that was in the, um, what's it called? Um, oh, the other ship, the one that was also there that crashed. I forget what the name of it was now. has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Oh, what's it called? The Degasi. She was, she was the crazy lady from the Degasi, from the Degasi. Um... That crash with those with that good dude and his his son, and um, what is this thing? Status report. Can I climb this? I apparently. Oh wait, I, dude, I was hitting. The, okay. I'm assuming it's broken and we need a repair tool to fix it. And we need something else for that too. Okay. Oh! Owie! I didn't mean to do that. Alright. I saw over here there was like a whole little area that was like a base. Let's see if we can get in there. Hopefully we won't... We'll warm up in there. And then we can also see what is in here. This. Yep. Open it. Oh god. This is all frozen in here. Oh, but it is warmer. <gasps> Fabricator! 
Is it usable? There's probably no power. But we can make them now. We can also make that locker that's right next to it. Hell yeah. What are you? Jukebox. A chair. A PDA. Okay, I did that for the jukebox. I see that. Oh, we can scan the whole room. This is a multi-purpose room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. Perfect. This is how we make our base. Of course, we still need the uh, the base builder thing, the habitat builder. First aid, uh, some water, a nutrient block, if you don't mind. I can scan the shelf. We're getting all our base building things. Hopefully, now we can build it. We do need to come back with a repair tool, I'm assuming. Um, that's the only reason they'll give me the crystalline sulfur. Oh, a map for the facilities. Oh, so it shows where everything is on here. Come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam works. Yeah, I, we're here, I'm pretty sure, on this thing. Okay. Ooh, this is where we build our super good... The, dam the modification station is where we build the really high-capacity tank. You can build beds and stuff. A regular lock... I can't scan the regular locker. Jeremiah's bed. Oh, I can't take. I can take the. Communications tower maintenance lock. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Interesting. I'm just I'm just grabbing everything I can grab, basically. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids. And we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend, and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by, because I'm safe in my sea truck, safe and very very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache, kid. By the way. Be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest. I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> Alright, well, there you go. I don't need the nameplate. It's Emmanuel's, though. We're finding stuff. We found uh, the aquarium that I was talking about earlier. I still hate that we can't get that. Yeah, they were all here on like on a mission and then it, like on a expedition and then it kind of went. Oh, that's cool. Uh, another PDA. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and 
I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Sam really got under management skin. Apparently. Yeah, she had it in her. Right. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I have to read it because it's too slow if I let him do it. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months, and then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects, you know there's nothing I'll find more attractive. Okay. Still kind of weird, but sure. Um, we are finding stuff everywhere, which is cool. I still haven't found the actual builder itself to make um, the actual habitat. I found stuff to make within it, but I haven't found the actual builder yet. Modification station, planners of pots. We don't have a, a way to build the actual habitat builder itself, though, is the thing. We have all of this stuff. But without the habitat builder, there's no way for us to actually make, like, put, there's nowhere for us to put any of this stuff or make any of this stuff. Because you make that with the habitat builder, which we don't actually have the blueprint for yet. So, we have, that's the biggest thing we have to find. Oh, with thermal blade. Nice. We can actually almost make, we can actually already make that probably. Oh, there's another thing we can go to. Last known position. Okay. So we have another thing to go to. For some of the posters. I think that's everything in here. Um, I see the signal over there. I guess we're heading that way, right? Well, how far is it? 600 meters that way, huh? So we explored, I think, everything there is to explore here. I don't think there's any more. We have a map now, so we know, like, generally where we have to go now. Um... Oh, that's a bad idea. It's in the ocean somewhere, and I don't want to fall there into the ocean. Let's go back how we came back. Get off back at the dock, and then we'll go there. Gentlemen, thank you for warming me up. Appreciate you guys. All right, so we're back out at the actual dock now. It's that way 600 meters. Now, I am still a little bit scared of actually going... Is this a hot spring? Oh, it is. Uh, I'm still a little bit scared of actually going there because we have none of the uh, things we need to actually survive there or survive going there. Wait, are these little pingus? What's up, dudes? It's a penguin. These little penguin guys. What's up, buddy? Hi. You guys are cool. I didn't go this way. Is there anything uh, anything else over here that I didn't see? It's nighttime, which is m even more terrifying than normal. Okay, I don't see anything. Let's just head back to where... I'm going to leave that beacon because it, it gives me somewhere where I know how to like get here, you know? If I take the beacon, then I won't remember how to get here, so... Warm me up, will you? Thank you. Appreciate you. So let's get back to this beacon. Wait. Did we go? Yeah, we did go there. This is just stairs. We just went from the other side. I'm not picking up the stupid snow. Stop it with the snow, man. Jesus. Every two seconds, I pick up snow. Snow. You want snow? Snow. 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 You want snow? Snow. 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 Look, but there's snow. Snow. Look, there's snow. Stop with the damn snow. Oh, dear God. That is deep as well. Last known position of the pilot. Oh, that's uh, the lady. That is. I literally can't. Okay, I can't see. Never mind. I think that's too deep. How do we get the habitat builder? That's what we need, like, really badly right now. Because I didn't find it there. Okay, Argentine outcrop is where you get silver. Good to know. Um. Hmm. Okay, next step is to find the habitat builder. Or at least the group. Oh, wait, I need to scan that actually. We found a bunch of good stuff. The scanner room, the all that good stuff. The, the multi-purpose room so we can make a base. All that. We found all of it. 
The one thing we do not have is the means by which to actually build it because we don't have a habitat builder nor the blueprint for it. I don't I didn't miss anything. I made sure to look everywhere when we were over there. So I don't know. We're pretty far away from where from home. Let's go back home and make the repair tool because we can make that now. We have all the things we need for it. Let's make a repair tool. We'll come back and see if we can use that repair tool on that rocket. I think that's the next like step. I think. Larry, we're back. We went on a little bit of a journey, but we have returned. Skirt. All right. Allow me to make. Oh, distress what call. That sounds like a distress call. Who? What was that woman's problem? The one in the exosuit. Like I need to say, which woman? And what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew their terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera though. Did she meet Sam? Good question. Picked up sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out there calling for help? It didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a, a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. Yes, we should, but I never got any kind of actual thing about where it is. So that's why I never went to it. Because it, it didn't say where it was. It just said 200 meters, but they never actually showed anything about the distress call. That's the last known position of the pilot, but if you look, there's nothing for the distress call. That's the station dock. So how am I supposed to check it out? I can't. I literally can't check it out. Thermos. Okay, so we can make this bad boy now. Beautiful. And then... Something else new we got, isn't there? Oh, enameled glass. Yeah, we still ha we still cannot make a, a habitat builder though, which is very important, and we need to figure that out to be able to actually do that. Do I have more? Um, I do. Okay, so let me get let me put away some of these posters, and decorative stuff because I don't really need it right now. Anyway, um, we'll put these guys. Oh, I can't really. I can put one away, right? Yeah, All right. And I'm gonna make another locker. Because we need to empty our inventory. We're going to go back and see if we can do the uh, do something with that rocket or whatever that was on the thing with our repair tool. Oh, don't do that. Come back. Okay, let's leave you guys here. We'll leave you here. We'll leave the copper here. And we'll leave all of these bad boys here as well. That should be good. What kind of battery are we sitting at with our seek light? Sitting for we're good with that. Um, let me put my knife back into my quick slot. All right. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. This episode was uh, a really productive one as well. We got the sea glide, we got the repair tool, the mi the mineral detector. We went and, wa and saw that base and all the stuff on that island that we we um, explored. We got a bunch of stuff that we can put in our base once we find the habitat builder. That is the next step. I'm gonna go back to the island to try to use the repair tool on that rocket, see if that's what we need to do. I'm gonna try to find the habitat builder so we can start making our own base. I wanted to do that this episode, but until we find the habitat builder, we can't. And then maybe after that, once we're a little more settled in we have a few more resources we can make the modification station get a, a better air tank and all that we can go to that signal right down there that is deep as hell um where the last known position of the pilot of that exosuit was which sounded a lot like marguerite and very well might be marguerite um but yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it make sure to drop a like make sure to subscribe hit that little notification bell i post pretty much every single day and as always i will see you guys in the next one.